Heavenly greetings in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, the Lord be with your spirit this festive season. What is the picture of your life today? Our life reflects what is in our hearts. We have to rediscover the value of life. Jesus said in the book of Mark 8 verse 36, what profit is there for a man to gain the whole world and yet lose his soul? The value of life is eternity because all of us, we have a beginning and we have an end. But life in Christ has no end. Because the blessings of Jesus enrich the soul for eternity. The wisest man in the world looked for the value of life in pleasure, fame, popularity, glory, in wealth and riches. But he ended up saying that vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. Are you still on the quest for the value of life? Ask the teacher and he will tell you in Ecclesiastes 12 that the conclusion of the matter is we should fear God and keep his commands because that is the whole duty of man. Eternal life is the chief good of the immortal soul. That is the heart of the matter. Where will you spend eternity? The value of life is not weighed by silver or gold but by heavenly resources, I mean heavenly currency. Jesus measures our life by our love for those around us, our love for others, and our love for God. Jesus paid with the most precious commodity, his blood, to bring you and me to redemption. What is your value before God? God values your soul so much that he sent his one and only son to pay the supreme price on the cross of Calvary to bring you to a place of significance in your life. Have you discovered that place of significance today? If not, you may discover that place of significance by reaching out in love to those around you. Because our life is measured by our love for others. Our love for others determines our relationship with God. If you underrate the value of your own life, it's not too late to start loving and caring for your neighbor. Because the beauty of life consists not in how happy we are, but in how happy others can be because of you. Right now, let's join partners and students of the University of God in the country of Honduras in South America as they share the love of Christ this Christmas. They cooked traditional Christmas meals and provided gifts, toys, provisions, clothes, to some of the most needy children and young people on the streets of the cities of San Pedro de Sula and La Lima. With the love of Christ, they shared hot food, gifts and provisions to hundreds who have no home. So as students and the team of the University of God all over the world, let the love of Christ shine through you this festive season. Happy Christmas from the family of the University of God. pero él está con los brazos abiertos para darle la fortaleza para resistir todos los problemas y la, y la inestabilidad en esta tierra. En esta tierra siempre hay problemas, problemas, pero confíen que Jesús ha resistido al mundo. Si permanecen firmes en él, aunque sufran aquí, luego pasaremos a vida eterna para, para disfrutar de gozo, de alegría. Así que corran a él, que él los ama. Jesús los ama. Jesús ama a estos niños. Mandó al Señor regalitos especiales para estas personas. Así que con mucho amor de parte de Dios. Así que agradezcanle a Él. Él está con ustedes. Sus días, entreguenselos al Señor. Y en Él nuestro futuro es mejor. Y sobre todas las cosas, el regalo de la vida eterna. 
Bueno, Jesús los ama y esta es una pequeña demostración de cuánto Él los ama y los tiene a cada uno de ustedes en su corazón. Amén. Todo lo que se ha hecho, se ha hecho con mucho amor y no es cualquier cosa la que hemos traído. Es una comida que aún la gente que trabaja desearía comer. Porque Dios ama tanto al necesitado y nosotros nos creemos de esa forma. No, la comida es de primera calidad. Arroz de primera calidad, pierna de cerdo, uva, a uno le va a tocar manzana. Va a ser bien rica la comida. Con mucho amor para ustedes.